On today's video, we're not only going to teach you how to make this beautiful floating teddy bear centerpieces, but we're also going to teach you how to price them. So stay until the end. Welcome back guys. We're gonna start off the base of this project with a piece of tile that I bought from Home Depot. To make sure that we have enough stability, I wouldn't buy anything that's under seven inches or 20 centimeters. For this particular project, we're using Maxi Cups 2. That's Roman numeral two. These are the biggest size cups that they use with the sticks um, that you're gonna see here in a little bit. These could only be purchased at a balloon supplier. In this step, I'm being generous with the glue to make sure that I have proper adhesion on all flat surfaces or flat parts of the cup to the tile. I also like to add more glue around the edges of the cup just to make sure that I do have the best possible adhesion to the tile. I also press down with a little bit of pressure to make sure that it sticks to the tile but not too much pressure where you have the glue oozing out of the sides. Now we're getting into double stuffing our balloons. For those of you that don't know what double stuffing is, it's when you take a balloon of one color and stuff it inside of a balloon of a different color to get a different shade of either one of those two colors. We don't inflate the balloons to a particular size. We don't use a sizer. We basically eyeball the whole thing. However, we do try to keep the size as consistent as possible. I would say that what we have here is about seven to eight inches or 18 to 20 centimeters. Now we're gonna make our balloon cloud for the base of the centerpiece. We're gonna use only two nine inch balloons. And I'm using just nine inch balloons because I wanna give a little more like a size difference and it looks a little better, but you can use all um, five inches if you like. So I'm using two nine inch balloons, a total of four quads of five inch balloons each and then a total of four mini quads that um, sh I'll show you in a moment how you can make those. That's uh, then all the, the number of balloons that we're gonna use for each base. Now here, you see how I use one neck of one nine inch balloon, I tie it with one quad, and then I use the second neck of my nine inch balloon and I tie the second quad. That's the main portion of my uh, base. Now I'm gonna make two more quads and then this time i'm just gonna tie it to a mini cluster like you can see here how the mini cluster is done is the one the one five inch balloon and then you kind of just squeeze it in half like so and then you can make a mini quad then you use half of a 260 and you tie it one end of the 260 to the five inch balloon the regular size one and then the other end you tie it to the mini cluster, the five, the, the mini cluster that you just created. In. And then you're just gonna attach one of these to each end of the main base. So you can see here, yeah, it's going and that's it. So you have like an extension, like you, we just made it a little longer and we're gonna repeat the process on the other side.
and this is it you saw I added the second quad with the mini quad on the other side and now I'm just adding two mini quads right in the middle and that is just going that is just going to add more like more details to the cloud it's going to look a lot nicer that way you're going to see here and we're just going to repeat the same process five times because we have five centerpieces So while I finish double stuffing and inflating the balloons, Alex is gonna sit down and start covering the tile. You can use any type of material that you wanna use as long as it, it matches whatever your colors of balloons that you're using at the base. And you're just making sure that there's no tile that's visible. One more thing on the subject of the tile is make sure that the maxi cup is glued directly to the tile. Don't ever wrap the tile with the tablecloth and then try to glue the maxi cup uh, to the tile with the tablecloth in the middle because if that rips off then the entire thing comes off so just um, make sure that the maxi cup is glued directly to the tile now I'm using a little bit of um, glue hot glue and like at the bottom of the, the stick to insert it into the maxi cup so it's just a little more secure now we simply place the stick and the base right in the center of the cloud and with the mini clusters that we added at the end, then we just wrap it around and kind of secure the cloud in place with the base. To tie our, te our teddy bears, we're gonna um, tie a piece of 260 um, in the tail of the teddy bear and then we're just gonna tie it back to the, to the cloud and it's super secure that way. And this is the final product guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinion. There are different ways to make um, clouds and I make them different when I need them bigger, but I think this was the perfect size for a centerpiece. Okay, now how do you do a tapiary uh, centerpiece? So tapiary centerpiece is that perfectly round uh, top that you sometimes see. Uh, but it has a, uh, a few balloons. I know that the Hatter Balloon, um, the Hatter Balloon centerpiece that's very trendy at the time of this recording, um, is using one single big balloon uh, with two sixes attached to it. I can make a video um, in the future if you like that style. But what we're gonna do right now is um, doing a lot of uh, duplexes, like bunched together to make a perfectly round um, tapiri, okay? And that's what it's uh, normally called. And that's what we're gonna do because that's what our client asks for. So, you twist. Now, you're gonna say that this part here in the middle is your is gonna be the center of all your arrangements. So all the balloons are gonna have to end up here. So it gets a little tricky when you when we do more and more. As we add more, and we're gonna add a total of eight um, duplex. So you see now I mix all the colors. So no perfect order. I have a brown so let's put the brown too. So again, I'm gonna have to try to squeeze it like in the middle. So these are the two balloons that it's here, so I can twist them. This is how it's looking. Now we're going to do another one. And again, it has to go in the middle. At some point, you're kind of going to lose what the middle is. Just make sure that it goes in like in the middle of the balloons you have at that time, okay? So you cannot just attach, let's say, to these two balloons. Now you have to try to find the center of what you already have at hand. Okay, so these are the two balloons I just twisted, so make sure that they are properly secure. 
this is how it's gonna look. So I have previously, the blue is previously inflated, so that takes time. Probably because my husband will say that I don't like inflated balloons, which is true. So he makes everything inflated for me. So we'll continue. We'll try to go, we'll try to find the center of this. colors at the end um, a little better. For now, main point is just to put all my, my duplex in the center. size of the center piece that I'm doing, um, if I did more, it will be too big at the top, and then the kind of is very, very small, and then you don't want to be too, you don't want to go too big for a center piece, because the bottom needs to allow, um, the height needs to allow people to talk and see each other, right, like when they're sitting across the table, so just make sure that your base is not too big, um, and then it needs to be in proportion to the top, right? So we're making the base, the, the base is very, um, you saw the cloud, right? Like it's very delicate and it should have longer tables, so I did it like a lower piece. Um, but then the top has to be proportional to the bottom. And the bottom cannot be too big because it's metal piece, right? So, so it looks, you see how it looks perfectly round? It looks very beautiful. So I'm gonna put the last one there. And again, it has to be in the middle. But I want to break the other colors. Um, it's okay if you have two together. Um, I think it's inevitable. But not four, definitely. I'm trying to put the blue in here. Okay, so I think the colors are spread out. But before I do so, um, in the previous clip, I show you how we did this maxi stick on a maxi cup. Um, I did put a little bit of hot glue at the bottom. I know that didn't show in the video, but I did. Um, but when I was doing it, 
it was a little more flimsy than I remember uh, from the last time. So what we do is this maxi cups have a little stick here, like right here. So we put an, a second, we put a second one in there. I know that's not what it's for, but that's what we use it. Um, the second one that we use is half of this one i think this one is 30 inches and the smaller one we use is 20 inches if i'm not mistaken um i just couldn't find another one for to show you this uh but the other one will be up to here more or less um you'll see it when we are assembling the last one that we have and then we just put a little bit of tape here a little bit of tape here somewhere and then it will be a little more sturdy at the bottom okay i just wanted to show you that because you probably see it on the video but i didn't show it in the close-up okay here we have our base okay so this is how the base looks it's again it's a rectangle table um so the client wanted them a little longer so that's what you see like the cloud looking like this and I will cut this, it's just that the client, I don't know if the client is gonna gift them after it and she wants them to look new, so I'm just gonna leave it up to her. Um, but our teddy bear is pretty secure, and this is how it looks. So if you can see the second stick there, the second stick that I added uh, for a little more support, and, you, and it comes up to here, so about halfway. So it's probably 20 and the other one is 40. Um, there's only two sizes of maxi sticks when you want to find them, okay? There are probably better options. You can use a lamp, the base of a lamp, and it's a lot more sturdy as well. I just don't like that the base is bigger and I don't want that to show, but it's completely optional. There is also another um, stick that is a lot more sturdy and is for florals. So you won't want to look into those options, uh, but again, account for the cost of that, okay? And this is probably the most inexpensive way of um, doing centerpieces. And because there is so much, there, there is just so much that you can charge for centerpieces, you want to keep your cost low, but again, making it very pretty, very elegant, very, like very high quality, right? For your clients. Okay, so, First thing we're gonna do now is I'm gonna attach a 260 to the top. And this is just gonna help me secure my tapiri to the top. This is the easiest way, to, the easiest way that I found to, to secure this part, okay? So um, remember that what you learn here or in any other video for that matter is not the only way of doing things, okay? So I hope that you take what you like, um, what, if, what you think is going to help you, and then implement it in your business, and then um, just leave the rest, okay? So I'm just going to slide this right in the center of our tapiri, and then after it's in there, I'm gonna go with my 260 and I'm gonna try to wrap it around just to keep it in place. Because I'm not gonna have an opportunity to twist this balloon to this thick. And for that reason, I'm using the 260. So right now, this is already the top of my stick right here where my finger is. And then here is my 260. So if I don't do anything, it's gonna be very, very loose because it's not twisted uh, to the stick or anything. So I'm just gonna go and try to wrap this around. Go a few times around. 
then I'll bring it to the top and you just try to make a knot at the top. Any way you can. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of the excess of that 260. It's gonna be a little easier for me to knot this. so you can see what I did. Here, very simple. So this is it, and you see it's not as flimsy as before, or it doesn't move that much. Like, it, like it's still a little, it's gonna just shake a little bit. When you, when you move it from one place to another, but once it's in the middle of the table, it should be fine. Now we're just gonna add the finishing touches to our beautiful tapiri. What I do is five inch balloons, and then cut the excess of the neck, so it doesn't stick out when I put it here. Um, we just use double-sided balloon tape, so it has to be specifically for balloons. There is two brands that I, not, that I use and I like. One is Balloon Bun, it's my favorite. It's, it comes in yellow box, uh, done by Click Click. And I cut it into, like it comes in long strips and I cut it into small pieces. And I keep it in a little box like this. And this is what I like using most of the time. Now I just put a little bit of that is in my packet and then the, the garbage is put it on the other packet. For me, I like it, it's convenient and the quality is amazing. Is not regular double-sided tape that will not work with balloons it has to be balloon tape the other option is the UV dashes um, this is a good product as well what I don't like about this is that it comes either like this in sheets and you have to keep it around like that or um, it comes in a big box and then so when we are like person that went out when I go up on a ladder, I don't want to be carrying that big box. So for me, personal, it's convenient, I like it, so that's what we're going to use. Very easy to use, just one of them will be enough. I try to put it, I try to do color with color, if you know me from other classes or from my Instagram page. I've said repeatedly that I don't personally like the look of um, mixing colors. So let's say that this will go in between these two. Like you can go here because you have another blue one here, so it's probably not a good example. But like a blue on top of the brown, I personally prefer just to do color with color. So I will try to find the color that belongs to my flag. So here I will, I can do it here because I have my views there, so it will look perfect. The other thing is that I like to do the front the way it's gonna look. So I know it's not gonna move anything from there, so I'm, make, I'm gonna focus on this front. And of course, I'm gonna put a few in the back because like, it will be visible from all angles. Um, but the side where the teddy bear is, is where I focus the most. I use, I'm using 10 small balloons per center piece. So, just put a piece of tape close to the neck because if I put it here, then this is gonna be visible. So I put it close to the neck. So when I go there, like it will look like this. I will just put it close to um, like where the tape is, so it hides the neck. And then I just gotta look for the perfect spot. And let's see if I can show you this one here. So say that I wanna put it here. That's it. You only need one. Pretty good. 
I mean, if you need more, you can just add more, but you only really need one. Be sure not to um, jeopardize the shape because you already have a round tapiri with the, with the five inches. You want to make sure that they're not sticking up too much, like you want them to be part of your perfectly round arrangement, right? Now, let's just talk about the price of the centerpiece, okay? So, we used about 16 balloons on top, and it will be double if you double stuff the balloons like we did. So, just get your total number of balloons when you're trying to get the cost. Uh, we use a maxi cup, um, two maxi sticks for a pair arrangement, um, the tile, the tablecloth that we use to wrap the tile and just a few 260s here and there. Then we use one bag of five inch balloons to make all the clouds. So the cost, the cost, and I already know this, the cost of um, all those items is no more than $30. So I'm just gonna um, kind of um, leave it at 30. It's no more than $30 for those items that I mentioned. Now the teddy bear that we use is a $25 teddy bear from Amazon. Now, you may say, okay, I can find a, a, a more inexpensive teddy bear somewhere else, but now you have to account the time that you're gonna invest in finding um, in a more inexpensive teddy bear. So you do what's convenient to you based on your business. If you have more time in your hands um, and you want to go shop for a more inexpensive teddy bear, that's completely up to you. For us, it's just convenient. To look, it's just very convenient to look on Amazon, see if they have it available, and they can ship it the next day. We close this client on a Thursday. We booked we booked this client on a Thursday, and Friday night we already had the five teddy bears at our door. So um, it's just convenient, and remember that you pay for convenience, and your client will pay for convenience as well. So we are we now saying that five teddy bears at 25 dollars is 125 plus the 30 35 dollar cost for the other material so that's 160 dollars um the biggest part of your the biggest part of the cost um of all this arrangement will be your labor so it took us about five hours between my husband and myself about two hours in two hours something so we're gonna say five hours between the two of us um and let's say that we paid a 20 dollar an hour um rate so that will give that will make it a hundred dollars labor a hundred dollars labor plus 160 dollar cost that's 260 dollars there are people here in my city uh, i'm in toronto canada uh, that will charge about 50 dollars for that arrangement and that doesn't even co cover the cost of material labor right so we are in the business of making beautiful arrangements for people and we also want to profit from this this is our full-time job and we need to profit so if i have help if i hire help to make this arrangement i need to be able to pay that person for their time and i want to profit but a lot, a lot of people what they do is they're happy with the hourly rate so if you're happy with the hourly rate that's perfectly fine if not i would highly recommend and encourage you to charge higher so you can profit Okay, so that means that if you sell your uh, the arrangement for $55 each, um, the total is $275. And if you already know the cost is $260, your profit is now $15. So I don't know about you, but although I love balloons, we are running a business because we want to make money. So I want my profit to be nothing less than $100. So it, again, it depends on you. So 100, 120, 140, 160 dollar profit, whatever is it that you want to profit is completely up to you and you're gonna price your arrangements accordingly. Uh, we charge uh, $60 per arrangement plus the $25 cost of the bear. So it was a total of, of 85 uh, per arrangement. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments below if 
let me know what would you have charged before this video and because now you understand the cost and the breakdown of making this arrangement um, how much would you charge in the future and now if you found this video helpful do me a favor after you subscribe and like the video go in the comments and let me know how much you have you would have charged before having this conversation um, and then because you saw the breakdown and all the work involved and the cost associated how much are you going to charge next time so he said, okay, Alex, I, I'm one of those, I would have charged uh, $55 or $50, but because now I understand it better, I'm gonna charge 70 or 75 um, the next time. I would love to see it. Um, I would love to read your comments and know that we are um, having an impact on your business, a positive impact on your business. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you next time. Peace.